So here is the conditional problem of uh, trigonometry from Asun's object, optical mathematics. And now we'll talk on uh, the general method of solving uh, this uh, conditional identities question, uh, question on, on ki uh, conditional identities. And it will be asked in question number 18 in your questions uh, carrying four marks, but it does not have like other questions, uh, it does not have short questions, uh, probably the in your group A, group A questions. Um, now this is the question from group B. So the problem, the method is of solving this problem is always um, you'll be uh, given on condition is pi radian sometimes uh, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, whatever. But uh, in terms of degree, it will be given 180 degree and there uh, there will be sub multiple of uh, sine a that means uh, sine 2 a maybe here is sine 2 b here is sine 2 c also uh, the similarly 3 a 3 b 3 c anything anything it can be uh, similarly a by 2 b by 2 c by 2 but the pr the method of solving uh, this problem is similar to all of this um uh, i mean uh, this problem that we are solving now and what you need to understand is uh, i assume that you know the formula, mm, uh, all formula of trigonometric formula, all of uh, trigonometric formula mm, to solve this uh, during uh, this uh, tutorial. Okay, without any delaying more. So let's begin. So leave all words tell you to leave some lines, five to seven lines. Okay, from um, uh, let's start from two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Okay, let's just I start from here. I wouldn't think that okay, I leave li, li, I'm leaving only five lines. Let us just go to right on the um L is just given. So there is not a square here. Sometimes a uh, square comes but in that in that questions you should eliminate you should remove that square uh, first and then only use the formula of sine c plus t and generally while limiting a square you relate to the cos to theta formula okay cos to a formula cos to a formula suppose um suppose this is not recorded in this question suppose your question is something like uh, sine square a plus sine square b plus sine square c equal to something for for something then uh, here in cos to a that uh, uh, we have the formula 1 minus 2 sine square a and uh, this bring that the 2 sine square a to right hand side 1 minus cos 2 a and similarly sine square a only means, means what 1 minus cos 2 a I uh, will talk this problem as later but um, for now you just keep, uh, keep. and this sine square you can replace with this 1 minus cos 2 a here and um, again use the formula of sine c plus t because there is not any uh, square um, in this uh, in, uh, in this um, formula in this term in this expression okay so now let's begin this is what was only a sounded intro for uh, next time and sine c plus sine d formula is 2 sine e plus this is a pure typical problem um cos e minus b by 2 uh, always e, uh, take that first of two person and before that again one more thing i forgot to tell you here is plus plus it is very easy to sometimes here is minus okay just before the sine a there is minus then just take this sine b to the front then it becomes sine b minus sine a and you use the formula of sine c minus sine d similarly what happens when there is minus here and in between so simple so sine a minus sine b sine c minus you can use the formula of sine c minus sine d very easily if there is minus minus sine but what happens when there are two minus here is also minus in case of and here is also minus then you just bring this assigned to the front and there will be plus signs and use the formula sine c minus sine a uh, relating to sine c minus sine d formula but what happens if all the uh, uh, all there is my uh, in all there is minus sign here is also minus here is also minus and here is also minus and then at that time you just take up comma the minus can inside the bracket uh, inside the uh, just uh, take minus in uh, then uh, this will be plus here inside that bracket and you first operate these things and just at last you just multiply with the minus uh, that is how uh, it, it will be easy for you to solve this problem 
So, okay, I'll leave this now. So, and, and the next thing is you remember, uh, you remember, you should uh, take care that uh, we just take two terms, two, two terms uh, to upper uh, during uh, for the uh, for first for the first calculation for the first time calculation, and uh, leave this sign third term. I will just leave um, leave this third term uh, as it is. Uh, we do we don't need to, uh, to use this. I mean uh, for now because it becomes a complex when you again use this. But uh, you just don't take, ignore it for some time. Uh, let's operate on this. First, I uh, this e minus b cannot be derived from here in the given condition. So we can re uh, just replace. Uh, we we just try to replace this sine e plus b by some other values, some other value. And so given condition is a plus b plus c equal to 180, and a plus b equal to 180 minus c. So sine a plus b is here. Uh, by 2 so divided by 2 this is angle c so uh, simply sine a plus b divided by 2 equal to sine well, i was thinking that i told you that lines will not be sufficient okay uh, you just leave uh, seven lines 180 minus c by 2 uh, distribute this two to this 180 and c it becomes something like this 180 by 2 means 90 uh, 180 by c by 2 this is 90 sine 90 minus c by 2 means cos c by cos c by 2 okay okay cos c by 2 so similarly here cos c by 2 and uh, we can write cos c by 2 here cos dot cos a minus b by 2 plus Okay, uh, change into half angle sine 2 c by 2. Mm, this 2 and 2 cancel, therefore, we can add here 2 to uh, now use the formula of sine 2a. So, sine 2a formula we have 2 sine a cos a and 2 cos c by 2 cos a minus b by 2 plus 2 sine c by 2 cos c by 2 take 2 cos c by 2 common from them plus and minus 2 uh, just before plus and minus a uh, plus um, there is 2 cos c by 2 and after minus also there is 2 cos c by 2 so we can take common a minus b by 2 plus um, cos uh, sin c by 2 so what was here uh, here is uh, cos c by 2 so similarly when you derive you will get uh, cos c by 2 the, it will be sin uh, here is sin a plus b by 2 but okay okay i'm deriving here mm. so you just take a uh, use a logic i use you 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 derive uh complete uh, here okay i just write uh, cos e by 2 means sine a plus b by 2 <coughs> sorry then i if i need sine sine c by 2 then it must be mm, cos sine means sine cos okay cos a plus b by 2 okay so I use the 2 cos c by 2 here cos a by 2 formula divide I mean separate that uh, uh, distribute that 2 to both a and b so sin c by 2 we just derive that sin c by 2 means cos a plus b by 2 which can be written as a by 2 and b by 2 so look at here 2 cos c by 2 arrange this for your convenience cos uh, cos a plus b a by 2 this first b by 2 plus cos a by 2 minus b by 2 so when you take this as a by 2 as a cos a plus b and b by 2 as b then cos a plus b plus cos a minus b do you remember the formula so if you not uh, remember, uh, uh, you just write, uh, uh, mention the reason while well and doing solution in exam too because uh, for your full marks and they student cannot um, so they have uh, there is not any way to cancel in maths. Uh, so there is formula of uh, cos a plus b plus uh, cos a plus b plus cos a minus b equal to how much? Two cos a cos b two cos a cos b 
look at here here in a we have a by 2 remember this is the problem cos a plus a, a plus b a minus b sorry so now next is i mean next what we have to use 2 cos c by 2 so using formula here 2 cos a b so 2 dot 2 cos a means a by 2 and cos b means b by 2 2 to the 4 2 into 2 4 remember cos a by 2 cos b by, just add in them cos b by 2 according to your rss c by 2 which is our rss thank you for watching